Hi everyone. Um, it's so nice to see so many people up bright and early. I know I really have a lot of trouble getting up early in the morning, so kudos to you guys. Um, so I've been involved with the Australian Youth Climate Coalition since 2008, and I'm currently the New South Wales State Coordinator. Whilst on paper it seems like I've been an activist for quite some time, I feel that it's only recently how, that I've truly realised how important climate change is to the world and to me, and why I should make personal sacrifices to do something about it. I constantly have this internal struggle with myself about what is important in life and what I want to do with my life. I'm first generation Australian. Times were hard for my family when they first arrived in Australia. They did their best to give me a good upbringing, one that was characterised by stability and structure. I've always lived in the same suburb. I went to the same primary school, the same high school and I went straight to university after high school with the expectation that I would finish my law degree, find a job and then work on setting myself up for life and for my future. This outlook wasn't just a result of the way I was brought up. I think it's very much nurtured by society and the people around me. It's hard not to feel the pressure when you hear of law students actively building their careers for after university, having paralegal jobs and highly paid internships whilst I spent my time volunteering for climate change with the fear of no one wanting to give me a job when I graduate. Last November I had the privilege of attending the UN climate change negotiations in Durban, South Africa and it was only there that I realised how important climate change is. Growing up in suburban Sydney has meant that I've lived quite a sheltered life. Of course I've had my drama queen moments where I've thought why is my life so unfair? Where I've but I know very well that I've been very, very privileged. I've always had access to life's necessities, a great education and family and friends to support me. This made being in Durban very, very surreal. I met people whose homes are actually on the verge of collapse due to the onslaught of climate change. People from the Maldives, the Pacific Islands and African nations where climate change isn't just a political issue. It's a matter of life and death. It's a matter of whether these people are able to access food and water, necessities which we severely take for granted. In this weird desire for certainty in my life, I never stopped to realise that with climate change looming, there's no such thing as certainty right now. I think that's something that isn't communicated very well to people. Having action on climate change is in our interests. Doing something about climate change is not about counting the number of dollars we're out of pocket. It's about thinking about our long-term interests the ability to enjoy life as we know it when we're older. It's about thinking about our long-term interests, our ability to enjoy cleaner air, live healthier lives, and have adequate access to clean water and food. Climate change isn't just about future generations, it's about our generation now. A recent report by the International Ed Energy Agency says that the world is headed for irreversible climate change in five years. In five years, the report predicts that we will hit dangerous climate change where we will be beyond the point of no return. This means that the levels of carbon dioxide will make it unsafe for humans to continue to live on this planet if we do nothing about it. It is a time where we need urgent and bold action. Yet political ambition is at a rock bottom low. What then is needed to stop the biggest impending threat to our futures? My biggest learning over the summer has been that it's people like me. It's ordinary people who are smart enough to realise that if we don't do anything about climate change now, the ability to dream of a beautiful and bright future won't exist. It's people who are brave enough to stand up and say that even though challenging the way we do things is going to be tough, it has to be done because the current way is unsustainable, unjust and simply no longer feasible. The most inspiring part of going to Durban for me was having the opportunity to meet so many young people like this. So many young people who are dedicating their lives to fighting climate change, even though they've got so much going on like their family and full-time jobs. Young people all over the world are building a movement, one bursting with courage and compassion. It's saying loud and clear that we want our futures protected, and if our leaders aren't going to do anything about it, then we will. Of course it's hard, and at times we're criticised for our hubris and idealism. But who said that anything in life, anything worth having in life comes easy? Seriously, who would want to pass up this opportunity to be at the forefront of change, to be part of something that revolutionises our society for the better? I know I definitely don't want to be left behind. Thank you so much for listening.